What's up everybody, it's time now to break down and talk about David Blaine's stunts and TV specials. For those of you who don't know, David Blaine, he was born on the 4th of April 1973. He's an American illusionist, endurance artist and extreme performer. He's best known for his high profile feats of endurance and has set and broken several world records. We're now going to watch some of his feats and stunts that he's done over the years. First up, we have Street Magic and Magic Man. It was back on the 19th of May 1997 that David Blaine's first television special aired on ABC. It was called David Blaine's Street Magic. On IMDb there's a brief overview of the show and it says the following cool David Blaine amazes people with his magic and use of optical illusions. There are no gimmicks, rules or tricks, just pure talent. This is a TV show which changed magic forever, especially magic on TV and people's perception of magic. It's such a groundbreaking show and David is such a cool manner when performing which leaves spectators absolutely stunned. Magic Man was released in 1998 and sees David perform on city streets and travels to Haiti and South America where he performs as magic to bystanders, strangers and a few celebrities. The beauty of Magic Man is that it's filmed by a very small crew using handheld cameras which helped capture the spectators reactions much easier and not staged by having a huge production team on the job. Next up was Buried Alive. Following on from Blaine's great success with his TV series he decided to take it up a notch and take on a stunt called Buried Alive. On the 5th of April 1999 Blaine went underground in a plastic box which was covered by a three ton water filled tank and stayed in there for seven whole days. David had a hand buzzer which he used to communicate with the outside world and would have been used to alert the emergency crew which was on hand 24 hours a day for David. The plastic coffin which David was inside had five inches of headroom and only two inches space either side of him which is fairly claustrophobic to say the least. It's said that up to 75,000 people visited the site when David was performing his stunt and on the final day which was the 12th of April there were hundreds of news teams stationed at the site poised ready for the coffin opening. Blaine had the idea to do his stunt following on from his hero Harry Houdini stating that he wanted to do a similar feat but unfortunately passed away before he got the chance to perform it. Next up is Frozen in time. So fast forward to the year 2000 and it was time for Blaine to perform a stunt called Frozen in Time where he would attempt to stand in a large block of ice located in Times Square in New York City for 72 hours. But unfortunately he didn't stay in there for the full time that he wanted to do. He was supplied with air and water via a tube and also had another tube to remove his urine also. He managed to stay in the ice for a massive 63 hours 42 minutes and 15 seconds before being removed with chainsaws. The ice was transparent and it was resting on an elevator platform too so everyone could see that he was legitimately inside for the entire time. David was removed from the ice and was taken to hospital due to fears that he was going into shock and it would take David a month to fully recover from it and he had no plans of trying to do anything as difficult as that in the future. Now on a vertical. On the 22nd of May 2002 David Blaine headed to Bryan Park in New York City. He was then lifted by a crane onto a 100 foot high pillar which was only 22 inches in diameter. To make it even more dangerous he was not actually harnessed onto the pillar but he did have two retractable handles on either the side of him so he could grab onto them should there be any severe winds or weather to stop him from falling. Blaine managed to remain on the pillar for an incredible 35 hours and he ended the stunt by jumping down on a landing platform made out of 12 foot high pile of cardboard boxes. However when he jumped he suffered a mild concussion. It was late revealed in 2009 that during his TED talk that in the final hours of his stunt he started to suffer from severe hallucinations which caused the structures and buildings around him to look like animal heads. Now on to above the below. After roughly a year of doing his vertigo stunt Blaine was back with another feat and this time he headed to London and performed above the below. This started on the 5th of September 2003 and this was an endurance stunt in which Blaine was sealed inside a transparent plexiglass box and then suspended 30 feet in the air. This happened at Potter's Field Park on the south bank of the River Thames within London itself. The box itself measured 3 foot by 7 foot by 7 foot. Inside the box there was a webcam installed so that viewers could observe his progress which lasted a stunning 44 days and ended on the 19th of October 2003. I saw David drink four and a half litres of water per day and he didn't eat at all. During the stunt he lost 25% of his original body weight which was a loss of 25 and a half kilograms. Typically as with anything in the UK there was always people out there who had to spoil it for everyone and threw food and other items at the box when it was suspended in the air. Some of these included eggs, paint filled balloons and golf balls. Someone even flew a McDonald's hamburger on a remote controlled helicopter up to the box just to taunt David. There was even one man arrested on the scene for attempting to cut the cable which supplied water 
water to Blaine's box. Now on to Drowned Alive. On the 1st of May 2006, Blaine began his Drowned Alive stunt, which lasted seven days and involved him being submerged in an eight foot diameter sphere, which was filled with water. This happened in front of the Lincoln Center in New York City. Unfortunately, during the stunt, Davis sustained kidney and liver damage. After the stunt, he entered into an agreement with researchers at Yale University to monitor him in order to study the human psychological reaction to prolonged submersion. At the end of the stunt, David attempted to free himself from handcuffs and chains also after exiting the sphere. Up next is Revolution. On the 21st of November 2006, David Blaine undertook his next stunt, which was the Revolution stunt. In this, David Blaine was shackled to a rotating gyroscope without any food or water and intended to escape with only 16 hours. However, the stunt took a bit longer than expected and 52 hours later, David finally freed himself. Now on to the Guinness World Records. So let's head to the 30th of April 2008 and it's Blaine's appearance on the Oprah Winfrey show in which he's going to try and break the world record for oxygen assisted static apnea which he tried to break the current record of unassisted static apnea in Drowned Alive but failed. There was a 6.8 cubic meter water tank in which Blaine would be submerged. Prior to this stunt he spent 23 minutes inhaling pure oxygen. He then went into the water tank and was able to hold his breath for 70 minutes and four and a half seconds in total which smashed the previous record of 16 minutes and 32 seconds and he became a Guinness World Record holder. Flash forward to September 19, 2008 and he lost that record to German diver Tom Sietes who held his breath for 17 minutes and 19 seconds on live with Regis and Kelly. Up next is Dive of Death. A day before Blaine lost his Guinness World Record he headed to the atrium of the Trump Tower and announced his latest feat along with the help of Donald Trump which would be the Upside Down Man in which Blaine planned to hang upside down without a safety net for 60 hours. Fast forward four days and the time had come for the stunt to begin in which David was hanging over Walman Rink in Central Park and was interacting with fans by lowering himself down. He pulled himself up to drink fluids and to restore normal circulation also. It is reported that David risked blindness and other maladies during this stunt. However, the stunt itself was surrounded with criticism and disappointment from some people as Blaine came down once an hour for a medical check and to use the bathroom and only hours into the stunt he was seen standing on a crane platform waiting rather than being upside down as expected. Up next is a bullet catch. In 2010 there was a 42 minute TV special called What Is Magic that aired in which Blaine performed the illusion of catching a 22 caliber bullet fired from a rifle into a small metal cup in his mouth. This was filmed using phantom cameras which captured the bullet flying through the air in 10,000 frames per second. This TV special also features 2008 footage in which Blaine is in New Orleans performing to people affected by the Hurricane Katrina. Up next is electrified 1 million volts always on. On the 5th of October 2012 Blaine began to undertake a 73 hour long endurance stunt on top of a 22 foot high pillar which is located at Pier 54 in New York City. The whole stunt was actually streamed live on YouTube. The basic premise of the stunt is that Blaine has stood in the pillar wearing 34 pounds of gear including chainmail Faraday suit which is designed to prevent electrical current from traveling through his body. He is also surrounded by seven Tesla coils producing an electric discharge of 1 million volts or more continuously. The coils were directed at Blaine for the entire time of the stunt and during the stunt he did not eat or sleep either. Due to the inclement weather on a night time it caused Blaine to shiver uncontrollably. Members of the public were able to control the pattern of the electric current by accessing screens and also musicians Andrew WK and Pharrell Williams performed solos on a keyboard which controlled the electric discharge. The stunt concluded on the 8th of October 2012 at 8.44 p.m. and Blaine was able to walk away with assistance and went straight to the hospital for a medical check. He also donated two of the Tesla coils to the Liberty Science Center in New Jersey to be shown on permanent display. Up next is Real or Magic. In 2013, Blaine starred in a 90 minute ABC TV special which aired on the 19th of November. The special was directed by Michael Akers who also directed the 2006 special Beyond Magic. It featured David perform magic for celebrities and public figures. It was a great hit across the board and received a 2.5 rating in the 18 to 49 bracket. Up next is Beyond Magic. On the 15th of November 2016, ABC aired Beyond Magic which is a 42 minute TV special where again, Blaine is performing magic for various public figures. However, the highlight of this TV special is that David Blaine performs another bullet catch, but this time he does it on stage live in front of 20,000 people and this happened in August 2015 at Las Vegas. In this stunt, David actually fires the gun himself rather than having someone else firing the gun and the premise to the stunt is that he catches a 22 caliber bullet in a small metal cup held between a gum shield and his mouth. During the performance, his mouth guard broke and since then he's never performed the stunt again. Up next is the magic way. On the 1st of April 2022, David Blaine starred in the magic way which aired on ABC. This special consisted of various close 
close up magic acts, performing card tricks through video chat due to the pandemic, and performing in person for many famous people such as actors, celebrities, and athletes. This TV special also included performances by Blaine's daughter Dessa. Last but not least, we're on to Ascension. So in 2020, Blaine hit everyone with a new stunt that was streamed live on YouTube and it was classed as a YouTube original program. In this stunt, David headed to Arizona in the morning of September 2nd, 2020, and the stunt had involved him holding a cluster of 52 helium filled balloons attached to a harness. These would then help him float up into the air. During the stunt, Blair managed to reach an altitude of 24,900 feet above sea level, which is more than 20,000 feet above ground level, before letting go of his balloons and parachuting down to a flat ravine close to the initially planned landing zone, where he successfully landed without harm. Thank you so much for watching this video and sticking around till the end. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a like, leave a comment. It'd be amazing if you could and give the channel a subscribe too if you're not already subscribed so you can be kept up to date with all of my latest videos. And if you enjoyed this video too, why not share it with a friend? There'll be more of these long in-depth documentary style videos appearing on the channel in the future too. So if that's what you're into, then you're in for a treat. Until next time, see ya.